Hello, hi dear students, greetings for the day, welcome to Classroom TV. So, we discussed about the Pythagorean and its converse and we are solving problems based on those two theorems. Okay, so now in this class, we are going to discuss some more problems on Pythagoras theorem and its converse. Let us begin the class. In an equilateral triangle ABC, AD is drawn perpendicular to BC in A. Prove that AD square is equal to 3BD square. That is the question. So, what is saying here? There is one equilateral triangle. So, this is one equilateral triangle ABC. So, in this equilateral triangle ABC, AD is drawn perpendicular. So, this is drawn perpendicular, AD is drawn perpendicular to BC from A. It is clear. And now, what is asking us to prove here? AD square is equal to 3BD square, that is the question. Clear? So, what we have to write here? Triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle, clear? Triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. You know in equilateral triangle all sides are equal, that is AB is equal to BC is equal to AC. And and what else we have? AD is perpendicular to BC. Clear? AD is perpendicular to BC. You know that in an equilateral triangle, the altitude bisects the base. Of course, you can prove it. How? You take both the triangles. Okay, first you write down now what is your RTP here? So, your RTP is that AD square is equal to 3BD square. You have to prove that AD square is equal to 3BD square. Clear? Now, you take both the triangles. So, in triangles, A, B, D and triangle A, C, D. We are taking these two triangles. So, in both the triangles, angle A, D, B, this is equal to angle A, D, C, that is each 90 degrees angle A, D, B and angle A, D, C each 90 degrees, clear? Since A, D is perpendicular to B, C. And A, B is equal to A, C. Do you know why A, B is equal to A, C? Because since triangle A, B, C is equal to So, now in both the triangles, AD is common. AD is equal to AD since it is a common side. Clear? So, by right angle, hypotenuse and side. So, by RHS congruency criterion, congruency 
criterion. Triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. ABD is congruent to triangle ACD. So, by CPCT, BD is equal to DC. By CPCT, BD is equal to DC. Clear? So, now you take the triangle ADC. So, in triangle now, in triangle ACD or ADC, this triangle you take because you want AD square and 3BD square, clear? So, now what we are doing here, we are applying Pythagorean. So, by Pythagorean, okay, so in this triangle you apply Pythagorean, now what you get here, AC square is equal to AD square plus DC square. AC square is equal to AD square plus DC square. You wanted AD square. So, keep your AD square left side. So, this is equal to bring this one. So, it is AC square minus DC square. AC square minus DC square. Now, Keep your AD square as it is. You know AC and BC are equal. Do you know why? Because it is an equilateral triangle. So, I am replacing AC with BC square minus DC I can write it as BD square. Do you know why? See here AC is equal to BC is one part. And second part is BD is equal to DC. Clear? Because we just proved it by CPCT, BD and DC are equal. So, now this is equal to AD square is as it is. As D is the midpoint, that is BD is equal to DC. We can write BC as 2 times of BD, correct? We can write BC as 2 times of BD. So, now this is going to be 2BD whole square minus BD square. Clear? We are replacing BC with 2 times BD. We, we are done with the problem. Now, it is AD square is equal to. 2 square is 4 BD square minus BD square. So, AD square is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3. It is 3 BD square. What do you have to prove? You have to prove AD square is equal to 3 BD square. So, hence, clear? This is the problem. So, here this is the important step. So, converting AC into BC, that is the equilateral sides, all sides are equal. So, whatever is asking, into that you have to change the problem. Clear? Let us see the next one now. Two poles of heights, 6 meters and 11 meters stand on a plane ground. Okay. If the distance between the feet of the poles is 12 meters, what is the distance between their tops? Simple question. See what is saying here, there are two poles, their heights are given. So, they are 
standing on a plain ground. Say suppose this is a plain ground here. So on this plain ground, one, one of the pole is 6 meters. Say suppose AB is equal to 6 meters. So you take another pole CD whose height is 11 meters. So this is 11 meters from here to here. Okay, AB and CD are the two poles. Now, the distance between the feet of the poles, that means this distance, this is the distance between the feet, this is 12 meters. Then what is the distance between their tops? What is this distance he is asking? That is the question. You need to find what is BD. Okay. So what do you do here? You just join here like this. Say this is E. If this is 12 meters, this will also be 12 meters. If this is 6 meters, this will be 6 meters. And this portion will be 5 meters. Why? Because the total is 11. If this is 6, then 6 plus 5, 11. So now you have a right triangle here, B, E, D. Can't you get B, D? Simple question. Is it clear? So now write down. A, B and C, D are two poles. A, B and C, D are two poles. Uh, like you know what is A, B? A, B is equal to 6 meters. And uh, C, D is equal to 11 meters. Clear. And what is A, C actually? A, C is equal to the distance between the distance between the feet of the two poles okay so ac is equal to be this is equal to 12 meters, then what will be D? D is equal to AD minus E, AD, not AD, CD, CD minus E, CD minus E, CD is how much? 11, C is 6. This is equal to 5 meters. We got like D. Clear. Now, you know B, you know D. Clear. So now, in triangle B, E, D, Angle B A D is equal to 90 degrees and you have got B A is equal to 12 meters comma D A is equal to 5 meters. You have both. Now apply Pythagorean. So by Pythagorean. B D square is equal to B E square plus D E square. Okay, B D is the distance between their tops. So B D square is equal to A 
you know what is B A? 12 square. B A is 5 square. So, B D square is equal to 12 square is 144. This is 25. So, 144 plus 25 is 169. Now, take out this square here. B D will be under root of 169. So, under root of 169 is 13. So, therefore, B D is equal to 13 meters. What is B D actually? The distance between their tops. So, therefore, B D that is equal to the distance between the tops of the poles. Tops of the poles. That is equal to 13 meters. This is the problem. It is clear? So easy problem. Right. Let us see the next one now. A gay wire attached to a vertical pole of height 18 meters is 24 meters long and has a stake attached to the other end. How far from the base of the pole should the stake be driven so that the wire will be taut? See what is here. Simple question, this is also. This is the height of the pole which is 18 meters. Okay. So now this is the wire. Okay, this is the distance from feet of the pole to the stake here. Now from here the wire is like this. So this length is 24 meters is asking what is PA? What is the length of PA? So, how much will be angle here? Here it will be 90 degrees. So, apply Pythagorean, can't you get AP now? Clear. So, what is the question here? AB is equal to height of the vertical pole. That is equal to 18 meters. Okay, we got the height of the vertical pole as 18 meters. And what is BP or PB? Length of the rope. Okay, what is the length of the wire? Which is equal to 24 meters. So now you need to find AP. AP is equal to how far from the base of the pole should be the stake. So the distance. of the stake from the base of the pole. Okay. From the base of the pole, how far is the stake? That is the question. So, now you take the triangle ABP. Now in triangle APB, angle PAB is equal to 90 degrees. 
apply Pythagorean and get AP. Okay, so by Pythagorean BP square this is equal to AB square plus AP square. So, BP is 24 A B is 18 square, A P square. You know what is 24 square? 24 into 24, 576. 18, 18 is 324 plus A P square. Get that 324 this side. So, A P square is equal to 576 minus 324. Clear? So, A P square is equal to 6 minus 4, 2, 7 minus 2, 5, 5 minus 3, 2. So, A P is equal to under root of 252. Just go with this prime factorization. 2 1s are 2 2s are 2 6s are 2 6s are 2 3s are 3 2s are 3 1s are 3 7s are. So, from here 1, from here 3. So, 2, 3 is 6 root 7. So, the distance from the, the distance of the stake from the foot of the pole is 6 root 7 meters. It's clear. Let us see the next problem now. The perpendicular from A on the side BC of a triangle ABC intersects BC at D such that BD is equal to 3 CD. Prove that 2 AB square 2 AB square which is equal to 2 AC square plus BC square that is the question. So, what is given here? The perpendicular from A on side BC intersects BC at D. That means this is a perpendicular here. Okay, AD is perpendicular to BC. So in triangle ABC, AD is perpendicular to BC. Okay. We got that AD is perpendicular to BC and one more is given here. DB is equal to 3 CD. DB is equal to 3 CD that is what is given here. Clear. So, now what you have to prove? You have to prove that 2 a b square this is equal to 2 a c square plus b c square. 2 a b square is equal to 2 a c square plus b c square that is the question. Now, let us see the proof what we are doing here. First take this condition what is given here db is equal to 3 cd. You take that db is equal to 3 cd. 
So now, can you say what is BC actually? BC we can write it as CD plus DB, correct? We can write BC as CD plus DB. So now BC is equal to Keep your CD as it is, instead of DB you can write it as 3 CD. What you can write CD? 3 CD. So, BC is equal to 4 CD. From here CD is equal to 1 by 4 of BC, right? If I get this 4 other side. Then you got the value of CD here. So, therefore, what is going to be DB now? 3 into 1 by 4 of BC. So, you get DB is equal to 3 by 4 of BC. Clear? These two are the important result. Now we are going to use it here. This also. We have CD in terms of BC, DB in terms of BC. It's clear what we have done. I'll explain again. It is given here. DB is equal to three CD. That is given. DB is equal to three times of this. You take entire BC. Why we are considering BC? Because in your RHS you have BC. So, BC should come into the picture. Clear? So, now that BC you can write it as CD plus DB. CD as it is, instead of DB I can write it as 3 CD. CD plus 3 CD, 4 CD. Now, get that 4 this side. Okay, you take this 4 other side, then CD is equal to 1 by 4 of BC. So, then what is DB? 3 CD. So, 3 into 1 by 4, 3 by 4 of BC. It is clear. Now, in triangle A, B, D, Angle A, D, B, 90 degrees. So, by Pythagorean, A, B square is equal to A, D square plus d b square. Give that as equation 1. Now, you take the second triangle. Now, in triangle A C D, A C square is equal to same Pythagorean you are applying. A D square plus C D square. Give this as equation 2. Clear? First we have taken the first triangle, we have applied Pythagorean. Take the second triangle and apply Pythagorean. Clear? So, you have equation 1 and equation 2. So, now subtract it. Equation 1 minus equation 2. We are subtracting equation 1 as well as equation 2. What is your equation 1? A B square minus A C square. Both left sides of the equations we subtracted. Now, coming to the right side A D square 
plus d b square minus a d square minus c d square. Clear? So, now a d square and a d square get cancelled. So, we get here a b square minus a c square. What you are left here? You are left with d b square minus c d square. Clear? So, now keep your a b square minus a c square as it is. Now, tell me we have a relation d b is written as 3 by 4 b c. d b you can write it as 3 by 4 b c. So, this we are writing it as 3 by 4 b c whole square minus what you can write about c d. c d you can write it as 1 by 4 b c whole square. Is it clear? What we have done here, we have just replaced d b okay, with a b c, 3 by 4 b c. Now, simplify you will get the result. So, a b square this is 9 b c square by 16 minus b c square by 16. We just open the brackets. So, now this is going to be a b square minus a c square. Both the denominators are same. So, the LCM is 16 here. So, this is 9 b c square minus b c square. Clear? So, this will be a b square minus a c square is equal to, this is going to be 8 b c square by 16, 8 ones are 8 twos are. So, now what you are left here? a b square minus a c square, this is equal to b c square by 2. Now, get that to this side, clear. So, this will be 2 a b square minus 2 a c square, this is equal to b c square. Now, take this 2 a c square other side. So, therefore, what we will get here? 2 a b square is equal to 2 a c square plus b c square. This is the question. Clear. So, this is one of the important problems. Simple. See, what you have to see? You have to see which sides we needed. Anyway, a b square and a c square, they are the hypotenuse. So, the others we have to change to get b c square. It is clear. Let us see the next problem now. In the given figure, d and e trisect at b c, prove that 8 a e square is equal to 3 a c square plus 5 a d square. This is one of the important questions here. See what is saying here? It is given that d and e trisect b c. What do you mean by that trisecting BC? That is BD is equal to DE 
that is equal to E C. Give this as equation 1. Okay. So, now first you take the triangle A B E in triangle A B E of course, angle A B E 90. So, apply Pythagorean by Pythagorean what we will get A E square is equal to A B square plus B E square. Correct, we are taking the triangle A B E, A E square is equal to A B square plus B E square, it is clear. So, now A E square is equal to Keep your A B square as it is. B E is nothing but two third of B C. Clear? Since from equation one. Why it is two third of B C? Because B D is equal to D. These are the two parts, and entire is three parts. So, two third of B C. So, this is equal to A E square is equal to A B square plus 4 by 9 B C square. 4 by 9 B C square that is A E square. Now, you take the triangle A B C. So, in triangle ABC, apply Pythagorean by Pythagorean. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. This is one relation. A C square is equal to A B square plus B C square that is one relation. You take the triangle A B D now. So, in triangle A B D, apply Pythagorean again. A D square is equal to A B square plus B D square. So, that is A D square, keep your A B square as it is, B D is one third of B C. Clear? Since from equation 1. So, we get A D square is equal to A B square plus 1 by 9 B C square. So, we have A C square, we have A D square and we have A E square. Now, now you take your right hand side 3 a c square plus 5 a d square 3 a c square plus 5 a d square that is equal to 3 times of what is your a c square substitute here a b square plus b c square a b square plus b c square plus 5 times what is A D square? A B square plus 1 by 9 B C square. A B square plus B C square by 9. Clear. So, now this is equal to open the brackets 3 A B square 
plus 3 b c square plus 5 a b square plus 5 by 9 b c square. So, now 3 a b square plus 5 a b square will be 8 a b square. Now, these two you group it 3 b c square plus 5 by 9 b c square. Clear. So, what do we get here? This is going to be 8 a b square plus 9 3 is 27 plus 5, 32 by 9 b c square. You can take 8 common here. So, we are taking 8 common. So, we are left with a b square plus 4 by 9 b c square. So, that is 8 of what is a b square plus 4 by 9 b c square which is a e square. So, therefore, we get 8 a e square is equal to 3 a c square plus 5 a d square. Hence, Clear? One of the important problems. D and E are points on the sides C A and C B respectively of triangle A B C, right angle at C. Prove that A E square plus B D square is equal to A B square plus D E square. See what is saying here. There is one right angle triangle ABC. Right angle at C. Okay. So, this is a right triangle ABC. In this right triangle ABC, D is a point on the side C A. So, here D is a point on the side C A. E is a point on the side C B. Okay. E is a point on the side B C. Now, this is what you have to show a e square that means you have to join a to e you have to join a e square b d square that means you should join even b and d a b square is already there d e square that means you also should join d to e this is the question okay so, now what is given here? D and E are the points on the sides C A and C B respectively of triangle A B C. Okay. And Angle A C B 90. That means triangle A B C is a right angle triangle. So, you have to see where you can apply Pythagorean. Clear. So, now what is RTP here? 
So, our RTP is A e square plus B D square. This is equal to A B square plus D e square. Okay, A e square plus B D square is equal to A B square plus D e square. This is what that is what the given RTP. Now, let us see what is the construction we have done here. See what we have joined actually. First, what we have joined? A. So, join A. And then B D. Join A E B D. A B is already there and D. See, this is a very simple problem what you have to see. You see here what are the sides given here and you select the triangle and you apply Pythagorean. Clear? So, now let us see the proof here. So, A E square we want. That means which triangle you have to select tell me. This is A E square. So, which triangle you should take? You should take triangle A C E. Clear what you should take? So, in triangle A C E, angle A C E 90. Why we are writing 90? To show that it is a right triangle. So, that we can apply Pythagorean. So, by Pythagorean. Tell me now what we will get. A e square, this is equal to E c square plus A c square. Give that as equation 1. Clear? A e square is equal to E c square plus A c square. Next, what do you have? B D square. You see, where is B D square? Here is B D square. That means, you should take triangle B C D, you should take. Clear? So, in triangle B C D, so applying now Pythagorean, so B D square is equal to B C square plus C D square. Give this as equation 2. Is it clear? B C D we have taken. So, B D is the hypotenuse B C square plus C D square. Next, what do you want on the right side? A B square. Where is your A B square? In triangle A B C. Okay. So, in triangle A B C, now apply Pythagorean A B square is equal to B C square plus A C square. B C square plus A C square. Now, what do you want one more? D e square, where is the D e square? In triangle E C D, the small one you take. In triangle E C D, this is E C D. Tell me now, what is that? D e square is equal to E C square plus C D square. So, give this as equation 3 and this is equation 4. Now, to prove this, what you want on the left side? A e square plus B d square. So, where is your A e square? A e square is your equation 1. B d square is your equation 2. So, you add both the equations. So, on adding On adding 
equation 1 and equation 2. So, we are adding equation 1 as well as equation 2. So, this is your equation 1 and this is your equation 2. Add the left sides now a e square plus b d square. Keep them as it is. Now, you add the right sides e c square plus a c square. Now, what is the right side of equation 2? B c square plus C d square. Okay. So, keep this one as it is. A e square plus B d square will be as it is. From these two, I have to simplify so that my answer should come A b square plus D e square. What is A b square actually? your equation 3, b c square plus a c square. Do you have them here? Yes. So, you group them b c square plus a c square as one group. So, these two we are grouping and you are left with e c square plus c d square. Is it your equation 4? That is nothing but d e is right. So, e c square plus C d square. Do you understand what we have done here? After adding according to the right hand side what is needed, according to your right hand side what is needed, that we are keeping there. It is clear. So, now this is equal to A e square plus B d square is equal to b c square plus a c square is your a b square, e c square plus c d square is your d e square. Since using equations, three and four. So, we have used equations 3 and 4. So, what do you have to prove? So, therefore, we get here a e square plus b d square is same as a b square plus b e square. such an important problem is this. It is clear. This is one of the very, very important problems. See, very simple. Just you group them, you see what actually the needed, you join those points, they will become the hypotenuse. So, Pythagorean is completely, you have to see which is side of the square is asking. So, that side is included in what triangle? that you have to select. It is clear. So, keep practicing all this. We will see more problems in my next class. God bless you all. Stay tuned and do not forget to watch classroomtv.in.